Hello and welcome back to my channel. Today we are decluttering and organizing in my kids playroom. As you can see it is a complete disaster in here. It's been quite a while since we've even touched this room or thought about cleaning it because I knew it didn't just need to be cleaned. It needed some major decluttering and organizing and I am two weeks postpartum right now. I actually have my two week old daughter Adeline on my lap right now so if you hear any noises in the background they are baby noises and she makes a lot of them so I'm sure you'll hear something here and there throughout today's video but anyway at 40 weeks pregnant and even 30 weeks pregnant I don't know throughout the whole third trimester there was no way I was going into this playroom to do what needed to be done I was so tired and so uncomfortable all that bending over and getting up and just all the things so this is why I put off going through this room for so long because in my opinion cleaning it was absolutely pointless. It needed to be decluttered before it could be cleaned. Now every single time I've posted a video cleaning one of my kids spaces, whether it be their homeschool room, their playroom, or one of their bedrooms, it always comes with lots of opinions in the comments, which of course everyone is entitled to, but I wanted to share my intentions for this space, what I think would work best for my family, and that was to donate about 90% of the toys that are in this room. The reason I had that goal is because when I walked into this space as an adult, I was extremely overwhelmed. I did not know where to begin and I cannot imagine how the kids felt coming in here. There was hardly anywhere to walk, let alone decide what to play with or how to play with things. There was just no way anyone could have any type of productive play in this space. So 90% was my goal. Did I get there? No, I probably got to about 70%, but I do think I took about 90% out of this room. So you will see as we go, I'm organizing and categorizing different toys. For example, we have a storage container of blocks, a storage container of cars, one of Legos, dinosaurs. Like I said, just different categories. Those storage containers, I'm actually going to take in the basement and if the kids want to play with a category of toys we can bring it upstairs they can play with it then we can put it away and bring it back downstairs my goal for this room is to have all things pretend play in here for example you see the store we have a grill the tool bench I actually found a pottery barn kids kitchen on the marketplace for only $30 it is in rough shape but my plan is to complete make it over, do a little DIY project, and make over this room at the same time, turning it into a real fun playroom. But the first step before any of that is decluttering. So that is what we are doing. The black bags are donation bags, and the white bag is for garbage. You'll see at the end, I do end up completely filling two of these huge black bags, which I feel so good about. And just so you know the kids' reactions, when I was just halfway done, this did take me two days so at the end of the first day they came to check it out and they were not upset at all at the two large black bags that were to be donated even though it wasn't done yet they could see the progress and they were excited to have a space to have a productive play in so some of the comments I typically get are that we still have too many toys or completely opposite and how could I get rid of my kids toys like that this is what I decided was best for my family Family and my kids was to donate what we could, store some organized toys in the basement, and keep this room a pretend playroom. I am not saying this system is going to work, but this is what we are going to try. If this doesn't work out how I think it will, then we will reevaluate in a couple months and change things up. But because we just moved into this house this past December, we're kind of moving one step at a time, figuring things out as we go, and turning our house into a home a little bit at a time. So we have a lot to do in today's video going through all of these toys if you have anything you need to get done today. I hope this video gives you the motivation to get up and do it and just have a positive and productive day. And if you haven't already, I hope you'll subscribe to my channel. Let's get this room decluttered and organized.
While we're decluttering, I just wanted to share with everyone because I've gotten a number of messages and comments about Adeline, meeting her, seeing her, the birth vlog, all of that. I'm so happy that so many of you are excited to meet her and see her, but all of that content will be over on my second channel, Life with Becky. I will put a link to that channel below in the description. If you haven't subscribed over there already, make sure you do that if you are interested in any of that content. Any type of homemaking, lifestyle, motherhood content will be over on that channel. I created that second channel so I didn't have to mix the two types of content. Over here we are cleaning, decluttering, and organizing, and over there we are sharing more lifestyle content. If you are interested in both, definitely subscribe to both. If you are interested in one over the other, you can always subscribe to one and not the other. I know many of you are only interested in the cleaning, decluttering, and organizing, and that is totally fine. That is what I share here, and that is what I will always share over here. But over there, we do get a little more personal, so if you are interested in my life, that is why it is called Life with Becky because I share a little bit more about my life and things that I enjoy over there.
I really didn't have any set in stone plans when I started decluttering and organizing this room, so you're going to see me shift things around as I go. For example, earlier you saw me put all of these construction trucks into this storage container, and I had the cars in the smaller one behind it. This didn't make much sense to me when I got to this point in decluttering and organizing. I decided to combine the two and just take the larger truck that didn't fit in the storage container out. This way, all of the vehicles are in one storage container instead of two. You will see me do this a few times throughout today's video, just figuring out where things should be and figuring things out as I go. I often get messages from people asking me advice on how to start decluttering. They might have a space in their home that is completely cluttered, or maybe it is the entire home that is super cluttered. My advice is always the same. Take it one step at a time, one area at a time, one item at a time. As long as you are moving in the right direction, you will get there. Clear off one table, clear off one counter space. Any little thing that you do to move in the right direction is a positive thing and like I said, you will get there. And what usually happens is you start and then you don't want to stop because it feels so good to have a clutter-free space. And if you are really like absolutely dreading decluttering, set a 10 or 15 minute timer for yourself and do what you can in that time period. And again, you might want to keep going or you might want to stop. Either way, if you do this every day or multiple times a day, you will get there. You are probably thinking at this point that we are almost done. Well, you didn't know this, but we have more toys in the basement. I know it sounds crazy, but it's true. I have two large boxes of toys that were in the basement. The basement actually looked just like this playroom. Rob was the one to declutter the toys in the basement and he ended up with two boxes of toys that he didn't know if we should keep or donate. So he brought those two boxes of toys toys upstairs for me to go through. Everything else in the basement was donated. This was a team effort between him and I going through all of these toys, decluttering and donating everything that we could. And if you're thinking, dang, just stop buying toys for your kids and you won't have this problem. Just know that we do not buy our kids very many toys for birthdays or Christmas, but we also have friends and family that buy for them as well, even though we discourage it as much as possible. Even for birthday parties, we just say, come celebrate. You don't need to bring anything. Just bring yourself, come have fun, and like I said, celebrate. It doesn't matter, it never works, and that is how we end up in the situation that we are in with all of these toys.
while I was going through stuff, I kind of just piled up Hazel's stuff in her own basket and decided to declutter it on its own, only because most of the other toys they all play with together, but her toys are more specific to her, and I wanted to be mindful of what she likes to play with because, like I said, the boys really don't like to play with her things, so I wanted to make sure I was keeping the things that she actually plays with and that I didn't declutter clutter too much or too little of her toys. With Adeline being here now, I decided to put the baby toys in this basket underneath Wyatt's toys. I didn't want to pack them away and then in just a few months pull them back out, so I just decided to leave them in here for now with Wyatt's toys on top. This way his toys are on top and accessible, but the baby toys are underneath when we are ready. And this room is not staying like this in these containers and baskets. Like I said a little while ago, we will be completely making over this room. We will be painting, adding curtains, a little storage system, something better than what's going on right now, maybe some cube organizers. I'm really not sure yet, but I do know I want some major changes in this room to make it a fun playroom to be in. I think I'm going to add an accent wall. If you have any colors in mind, let me know in the comments what color accent wall you think I should add, or I also saw on Pinterest a neutral double rainbow that was beautiful. It wasn't too girly because it was neutral, so let me know if you think I should add an accent wall or like paint a double rainbow on the wall. Here are those two large black bags of donations. I could not be happier with the amount of donations that we have. The last thing I'm going to do in here is vacuum, then put the room back together and call it a day.
I could not be happier with how much was decluttered and organized in this room. We still have a long way to go before it looks like the playroom that I want it to look like that I have in mind for the kids, but this is a great start and I really feel like I accomplished my goal in this space. If you enjoyed today's video, I hope you give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next one.